It's your boy King Brando and what's up Brando fam? What y'all doing? What y'all on? I got another treat for y'all. You told me start doing stuff from like the day that it's happening or the next day or whatever from the Raw and the Smackdowns. So I got another treat for y'all. And y'all really gonna like this one. Like I really think y'all gonna like this one. Y'all gonna mess with this one. Again, please WWE, do not copyright me. Don't give me a strike. Please. Please, just, you know, we just trying to show love, bro. We just trying to show love. Please don't copyright us. But y'all should already know what it is because y'all know what happened. So I'm going to give it to you. Y'all y'all went, went in my stuff and y'all was like, Brando, you got to react to this. You got to react to this. So I'm going to give it to you the night of, okay? The night of just, a, it just happened a few hours ago. And this is Daniel Bryan coming out of retirement. Like, what? Y'all know, like, like, only, like, even if you don't watch wrestling, like, you know what the yes is. You know, hold on, let me get in the camera thing. You know what the yes is. You know what that was. Let's get it. I, like, I, I was going to think of something to say, but can't nothing, like, can't nothing that I'm going to say match what he going to say. I'm, like, I don't know, man. <laughs> Let's get into this reaction video, y'all. Who I know y'all going to like this. Like the video right now. Subscribe to I almost forgot that, but let's go, man. Let's go. Yeah. Take me to the truth. Okay, let's go. Sorry that the camera angles is not gonna be good. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, this is the only one that I can find that had like the whole thing or about the whole thing on it. So yeah, enjoy, Brando fam. You deserve it. He deserve it. Let's get it. Dang, a lot of welcome back chants. Let me know what y'all thought of his comeback. Or what y'all, like, let me know what y'all think he's going to do his first match. Like, let me know in the comment section. Dang, man, that must feel good to him. Because he was crying last time. I wonder if he's going to cry. Sorry for the little awkward dance movement, so I, I look like logic. Now first, mm. last week something horrific happened to Shane McMahon. I wonder what that was. And as general manager, I will be addressing that situation, but unfortunately the two people that I need to talk to are not here yet. Okay, let me know what happened at the end of, like, when he talked to those people. With Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, let me know what happened. I'm going to talk about something else. <laughs> You're going to talk about it. A little over two years ago, uh, when I was forced to retire, it was one of the hardest days of my life. Mm -hmm. But I, I focused on one thing, on being grateful. And I kept on focusing on trying to be grateful. So there were... There were times when I was depressed about not being able to do what I love to do. That's understandable. And I focused on being grateful. It's understandable because he's been doing this all his life, angry, basically. And I was mad that I couldn't do what I love to do. And I focused on being grateful. Humble and, dude. Humble dude. And I have a lot to be grateful for. I have amazing family, I have amazing friends, I have the best fans in the world. Claps again. And I also have an amazing... Oh man, you can tell he tearing up. Uh, Dang man. Wife. Cop it up for her, bro. It had to have been tough for her to and help him, try to help him. When I was him. depressed, and when I was angry, and I was trying to be grateful, and she saw that all I wanted to do was get back in the ring, she came to me and she said, well, she It's you. wonderful that you're, you're grateful, mm. but you need to fight, and you need to fight for your dreams. Listen to this. And Listen to this. I sound like you've been saying something important. And she's the one who encouraged me 
to start going to see specialists. Mm -hmm. And so I went and I saw a specialist. And then when the specialist gave me good reviews, she said, go see another specialist. And then she said, go see another specialist. Another one. Another one, DJ Khaled Woods. Thank you, man. And when she said, go, when I saw another specialist and they cleared me, she said, listen, you need to fight for your dreams. Mm. That's what Daniel Bryan does, is he fights for his dreams. Listen to what he's saying, Brando fam. So, so then, then, when I got depressed, I wasn't just grateful. I decided to fight. And when I got angry about not being able to be in this ring, I wasn't just grateful. I decided to fight. And there was a time I wanted to quit. And instead of walking out, she got in my ear and she said, you don't walk out. She said, you fight. Because you need to fight for your dreams. Fight for your dreams. Fight for your dreams. And if you fight for your dreams, your dreams will fight for you. Pause. Pause, G, because this, like, hold on, man. They even got me a little emotional right now. <laughs> just to have the support. Just to have, just for him to know that she had him. Like, that's that's some stuff you can't make up. It's some stuff you can't write about. You can't do nothing. You can't capture that or anything else. You can tell that this is, this is everything to him. And she knew that. And she was ten toes down. All day, every day, telling him, you know, you got to follow your dreams. Brando fam, let's use that. Let's use that. Fight for our dreams, and our dreams are fight for us. Hold on, let me rewind that back just to see what he said completely. Because this is something that we all need to know, we all need to do. Grateful, I decided to fight. And there was a time when I wanted to quit. And never quit. Never up. quit. We ain't never quitting, Brando fam. Never, never giving up. She said, you fight. You fight. Because you need to fight for your dreams. Fight for your dreams. Fight for your dreams. And if you fight for your dreams, your dreams will fight for you. If you fight for your dreams, your dreams will fight for you. That's, I'm just, I'm, in, I'm inspired myself. We ain't never giving up, Brando fam. I don't care no matter what. We ain't never giving up. Never, ever, ever. If he can endure all this pain and all this heartache, we we can get through. We gonna make it. Man, every let me just let him talk. Every hard thing seems impossible until it becomes real. And over the last two months, I've asked WWE to relook at my case. And they sent me to the best neurologist all over the country. They need to. They need to. And all of these neurologists, every specialist, every doctor I've seen has said the same thing, and it is this. You are cleared. I just... Man, this is... This is, this is heartwarming. Sorry again for the video, Brando fam. Like, this is the best that I can do in short time notice. This is the best quality of the video. I know it's probably been some better ones since then, but this there is the quickest we can do. When being cleared to compete in a WWE ring seemed impossible. Mm. But now it is real. So I've got a lot of thank yous to say right now. First of yes. all, I want to say wife. thank you to the WWE and okay. their doctors. Yeah. You really got to say that because they're looking out for you. Because first and foremost, they looked at me as the person and not me as the wrestler. And for That's that, what I said. They're looking out for him, him I also the person, not the wrestler. They were willing to give my case a second look. For me to be out here, to be able to say to you guys... There's not too many yes, people get a second chance. I want to say thank, thank you to every single person here. Thank us, man. every single person watching at home. Oh, you thank us. Because you guys have supported me for this entire time. Man. If this don't make you feel nothing, I don't even know what to say. When I come out here, you guys chant, yes, yes, 
Yes, and you guys shit Daniel Bryan, and you guys shit. You deserve it. And for that, I say thank you. Class act, man. And lastly, but not leastly, I would like to say thank you. Oh to man. Me. Oh man. Dude, who's tearing up, bro, man? That's making me sad, bro. That's making me sad. I, uh, I don't think any of you truly understand how much you supported me over the last two years. And for that, Dang, man. I am incredibly grateful. I'm, I'm going to clap it up for her. Everybody at home, clap it up for her. She so, deserves it. Now, on to the fun stuff, right? I don't know exactly when. Mm -hmm. Or where I will get back in this ring? Mania. Tag team match. Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens. Versus Shane McMahon, Daniel Bryan. Sorry for pausing that much. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna watch WrestleMania. I was thinking about skipping it, but I'm gonna watch it, okay? And don't worry, on the week leading up to Wrestlemania, straight Wrestlemania videos. <laughs> Nothing else, unless like an album drop or something. Wrestlemania videos. Wrestlemania videos. Does, does that sound like a good idea? Say nothing. We just we just hating it for him. We hating it for him. This inspirational. That's all I'm just gonna say. Final thoughts right now. That was like the saddest, happiest thing ever. I mean, it was sad because like. I don't I, like I don't I don't know man. I, I just I've I felt bad for him having to wait that long, you know. Having his dream taken away from him. But I felt happy because he got it back. He got it back, Brando fam. And he proved that anything you set your mind to, anything that you wanna do, you can do. You can do it, bro. You can do it. You are part of the Brando fam, so you 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 already know we backing each other because we a family and family, you know, we on that fast and furious type of stuff. Ain't nothing more important than family. Uh, but yeah, this, 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 made me a little, this made me a little sad and more happy, more happy though. Uh, the sad part because, you know, like thinking of what his wife had to go through, what he had to go through because he said he was depressed and all that. And it had to be hard for her because, you know, she got to she gotta hold down the fort. They got a baby and all that. Gotta hold down the fort, so it, it, that was the little sad part. But it was happy because it's all better now. It's all better. In every nightmare, there's a dream, okay? If you get what I mean. Like in every bad situation, there is good. For every nightmare that you have, you will have another dream. You will have another light. If that makes sense, you know, I'm trying to be philosophical. Y'all know what I mean. Philosophical, yes. Uh, but yeah, let me know what y'all thought of his coming out of retirement. Let me know what y'all live reaction was. Put it down in the comment section. This was dope. Loved it. You amazing, bro. You amazing. Your wife amazing. Everybody amazing. Whew. This, this, man. Man, this is... That, that, that really made me feel something. It made me feel something. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, you gotta do this thing called the three clicks. I'm gonna do the if you return it after the three clicks. But yeah, you gotta do this thing called the three clicks. You just gotta like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit them post notifications. Join the Brando fam. This was just an amazing thing. If you return it to the channel, you should already know what to do. Like the video. Comment other stuff you want me to react to, you want me to do. And yeah, tell your artists, hit me up. Tell your underground artists, tell your artists, whatever. Hit me up. I work with them. Hit me up in the emails, man. See me a message on here. Like, I will work with you. But yeah, it's me, Boy King Brando. Godly, man. That was...
man, I don't even, I don't even know what to, I, I can't even, like, I feel, I feel good, I feel good for him, yeah, that, that, that really, yeah, it made me, really made me feel something, because it's not just about, like, him wrestling, this could be anybody having their dream taken away from them, but getting it back, like, this, you can apply this, what he's saying, to anything and anybody in your life, he said, if you fight for your dreams, your dreams will fight for you. Well, that's what Bree said, you know. That applies to anything. That's what I'm going to leave it out with. Leave it off with. It's B Boy King Brando. Peace. Yeah. Take me to the truth.